सब्जेक्ट नेम सर्किट एनालिसिस टॉपिक नेम ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर क्वेश्चन फाइंड I1, I2, I3 एंड I4 इन फिगर हेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस I1, दिस I2, दिस I3 थ्री एंड दिस आई फोर सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस करंट सोर्स इन टू इट्स इक्वेलेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स Now to convert this current source into its equivalent voltage source, we have to remove this current source from here and connect the voltage source here. This voltage source will be the direction of this or the polarity of this voltage source will be this side will be positive because the current is flowing in this direction, so that's why this will be positive and this side will be negative. Now. Voltage V is equal to V is equal to I into R. So I multiplied by R. The value of current is one milliampere, and the value of resistance is five kilo ohm. So one multiplied by ten to the power minus three. Then it is multiplied by five multiplied by ten to the power plus three. So it is five will be five. Volt. Five volt is the value of this voltage source. Now we will apply apply ideal op-amp ideal op-amp conditions. Apply ideal op-amp conditions. The ideal op-amp conditions are: Let's assume this is voltage V positive and this is voltage V negative. This is current small i one or i positive and this is current small i negative. Now, ideal op-amp conditions are: This V plus Is equal to V minus. V plus is equal to V minus. And second condition is I plus and I minus is equal to zero. I plus is equal to I minus is equal to zero. So here we can see this voltage V plus. Now here we will assume this as an ground. This is a reference node or ground node. Now. Here we can see V plus is equal to five volt. V plus is equal to V minus, or we will write somewhere here. But V plus is equal to five volt. So therefore, V minus is equal to also five volt. Now, this I plus is equal to I one. I plus is equal to I one, and it is equal to zero. Then, this node voltage will be V minus. This voltage, this node voltage is V minus. Now, again we will copy this, copy this diagram and paste it here again. So we will apply. Let's say this is node A. So apply KCL at node A. Here we can see the direction of this current I three. is opposite the actual direction of this current should be in this direction because this current i2 is coming from here then it will go this side and this side so the direction of this current i3 is opposite 
and let's say this current is this is i1 this is i2 this is i3 and this is i4 so this current will be let's say this is i5 so apply kcl at node a so at this node we will apply kcl so according to kcl summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node so here we can see all the currents are leaving current so we can say i5 plus i3 plus i minus i5 plus i3 plus i minus is equal to 0 but this i minus this i minus is 0 according to i5 plus i3 and this is 0 according to the ideal op amp condition so we can say i5 is equal to minus i3 now this voltage this voltage here we can see it is vo because it is connected to this vo now we will convert the current into voltage form so first we will convert this i5 into voltage form so i5 in voltage form will be v minus minus 0 divided by 10 kilo ohm v minus minus 0 divided by 10 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to minus i3 now this i3 will be v minus minus vo divided by 5 kilo ohm v minus minus vo divided by 5 kilo ohm so 5 into 10 to the power 3 now if we simplify this so it will be this 10 to the power 3 and this 10 to the power 3 will get cancelled so what's remain v minus divided by 10 is equal to now this will be this minus minus will be plus so we can write it vo plus or vo minus v minus divided by 5 if we take this 10 on this side so it will be v minus or if we take this 5 on this side so it will be 5 by 10 5 by 10 v minus is equal to vo minus v minus now this will be if we take this minus v minus on left side and this will be 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 v minus plus v minus is equal to vo so it is 0 0.5 plus 1 so it is 1.5 v minus is equal to vo now the value of v minus is 5 volt so we will substitute but v minus is equal to 5 volt so it will be 1.5 multiplied by 5 is equal to vo so 1.5 multiplied by 5 so it is 7.5 so therefore vo is equal to 7.5 volt now we have the value of vo then what we have to find in this question we have to find i1 i2 and i3 so we have already found the value of i vo now from vo we can find the value of this i4 so first we will find the value of i4 so i4 is equal to i4 is equal to vo minus 0 by 10 kilo ohm vo minus 0 divided by 10 into 10 to the power 3 the value of vo is 7.5 divided by 10 into 10 to the power 3 7.5 divided by 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 so it is 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 ampere this is the value of i4 7.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 ampere 
now next we can find the value of this i3 so i3 will be equal to v minus v minus minus v o by 5 kilo ohm i3 is equal to v minus minus v o divided by v minus minus v o divided by 5 kilo ohm so 5 into 10 to the power 3 the value of v minus is here we can see v minus is 5 volt so 5 minus v o is the value of v o it is 7.5 7.5 divided by 5 into 10 to the power 3 so it will be 5 minus 7.5 divided by 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 so it is minus 5 into minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 ampere so i3 is equal to minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 ampere this is the value of i3 now next we can find the value of we have to find the value of i1 i2 i3 and i4 so here we can see i1 will be equal to clearly i1 will be equal to 0 i1 is equal to i1 is equal to i plus now here we can see i1 will be equal to already it is equal to 0 now only we have already found the value of i1 then i3 and i4 only i2 is remain so i2 will be equal to this i2 will be equal to let's assume this is node b let's say this is node b now again we will copy this one more time now apply kcl at apply kcl at node b now here if we apply kcl so according to KCL, summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. So here we can see I2, this forms one node, this hole is one node. From here to here, from here to here like this, it is one node. So here we can see I3 and I2 are the entering current. So we can write I2 plus i3 is equal to leaving current leaving current is i4 so is equal to i4 now from this we can say i2 is equal to i4 minus i3 the value of i4 we have already calculated it is 7.5 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus the value of i3 the value of i3 is this value we will directly copy it from here so it is minus minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 so therefore i2 is equal to 7.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 then minus in bracket minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 so it is equal to 1.25 into 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere so this is the value of i2 now we can write this i1 i2 and i3 in milliampere form so first we will write the value of i1 then i2 then i3 then i4 so first the value of i1 the value of i1 is
here we can see the value of i1 is equal to 0 ampere so i1 is equal to 0 ampere i2 the value of i2 this is the value of i2 that is 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 that means it is milli ampere then next is i3 so i3 this is the value of i3 so it will be minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 so we can write it like 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so that means it is minus 0 0.5 milli ampere then i4 so i4 will be 0 0.75 0 0.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 0 0.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere so it will be 0 0.75 milli ampere so this is the final answer for this question what we have to find in this question we have to find i1 i2 and i1 i2 i3 and i4 so this is the value of i1 i2 i3 and i4 if you find this video helpful then feel free to donate whatever amount you can link is in the description below thank you